Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, this beautiful, gorgeous Friday morning as we get you set for a big weekend in Southern California and Northern Baja. It's a little bit more gloomy this morning, a little breeze on my back, maybe eight knots of breeze right now, but the fishing is anything but gloomy. It is spectacular. We've got white sea bass. We have got yellow fin tuna. We have got Dorado. We've got so much to talk about down in Baja, California. And what a trip on the Independence, a five-day trip where they're running several hundred miles down to the yellow fin tuna zone. They had some tremendous halibut fishing on the way down. And I got news for you. They are bent full speed right now, Friday morning on the Independence, wide open yellowfin tuna fishing. We've got our bluefin tuna out there on Tanner Bank. Mixed with it, some big fish, most of it 10 to 30 pounds. But do we have some weather headed our way? And of course, we'll check all the islands and so much more. You know what time it is. It is time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Ah, so good and so great to be with you all. If you don't mind, hit that like button. We really appreciate it when you pound on that like button. Of course, just love you when you share these videos with a friend or even an enemy. Subscribe to the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel and tick that little bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. Follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. It is great to be with you all. And man, do we have a lot to cover with you all. Up in Ventura, we have a very special event coming up. Jeff Yeomans from the 540 Slingers Club has a dear friend who's putting on fishing for the cause and they have a breast cancer awareness day with food trucks and they also have an auction. It's going to be great for a great cause. Fishermen making the world a better place. Let's go south of the border and check out what's going on because we have a lot of places to check. We've got to check with my dear friend Abdul Ryan and Manny Mercado. Manny, it's been way too long. Abdul, What's going on? We got to get together one of these days. You guys are too busy putting the wood to the fish in the Bahia de Los Angeles, Bay of LA, or Bola, as it's known as, is wide open right now. Tremendous fishing for those guys. They've had black sea bass, white sea bass. They've had Dorado. They've had yellowtail to 35 pounds. What a spectacular trip for some really great guys as they are having a dream trip in the Bay of L.A. with a variety of different species. Doesn't get any better than that. I'll tell you, if you haven't been down there, you owe it to yourself to make a trip to the Bahia de Los Angeles. It's fantastic. Cedros Island, wide open yellowtail continuing there. You can also find some spectacular calico bass fishing and lots more. Cedros is on fire right now. It doesn't get much better. I should mention, by the way, that those guys... Manny and Abdul down in the Bay of L.A. are fishing with Misael Martinez from Fish Arms Sport Fishing. Fish Arms Sport Fishing. They do a great job. Misael is an outstanding captain. They fish with him all the time. That means they trust him, and he always seems to come through for them. San Quentin area. This is a couple days old, but, man, did they put the wood to the white sea bass and yellowtail at K and M. Sport fishing, k and sport fishing, what a magnificent catch of sea bass and yellowtail. I'm telling you, we've seen more sea bass down there on the Baja coast here in the last month or so than we've seen in quite some time. It has been great. Ensenada, only 70 miles below the border as we wind up and round up our Baja synopsis, has been outstanding. Offshore has been a little dicey, trying to find a bluefin or a kelp with some Yellowfin or Dorado has been a little bit on the tough side, but there are some fish out there every once in a while you'll catch. Most guys stay local, however, and by local, I mean on the Baja coast. The great fishing is going on down there around Santo Tomas, where there's been a mix of wide open barracuda, some good yellowtail action, calico bass, and excellent rock fishing. It has been great. Closer to home, around Ensenada and Todos Santos, there's still some breezers of yellowtail that you roll up on and throw a surface iron on. It's been pretty good at times also. So really great fishing south of the border. And that is so good to see on the long range scene. Down there in the Lijos Rocks area, we continue to see 
great yellowfin tuna fishing, wonderful yellowtail fishing. Seven and eight day trips have been having some really great wahoo fishing in addition. You know, I could single out a boat, and I'm going to do that in a second, the Independence, because of the fact that they're only on a five day trip and they ran all the way down there and scoring on the yellowfin tuna here this morning. But all the boats on these seven and eight and nine day trips are scoring with magnificent fishing. Some of the best long range seven, eight day fishing trips I've seen during this time of the year in a decade or so. It is great. Independence on a five day trip decided to go for it. They're gonna run all the way down there, just get a day or two of fishing in. That's it. But was it worth it? On the way down, they had a flat, wide open halibut bite with 32 big, fat halibut. They also had some pargo and other species. Really great fishing for the guys on the Independence. And right now, this morning, they are bit solid, wide open yellowfin tuna fishing. Fish in the corner, 25 to 50 pound fish. It can't get much better than it is right now. JC is on that trip. He's been funneling some information into me, and he tells me, Phil, it's as good as it gets. What a dream trip. What a dream five-day trip on board the Independence. All right, let's talk our local bite. And first of all, what I want to do is point to a private boater, Chad Braga. He took his wife out, and he said, you know, I'm going to peel off away from everybody else, see what I can do. He's off by himself. He caught a yellowfin tuna and a Dorado very close to San Diego. Is this a sign of things to come or just another one-off? We'll see, but way to go. And Chad's wife, those were her very first, her first yellowfin and her first Dorado. Congratulations on an outstanding catch and good to see Chad moving off and trying something on his own. All right, let's go out to the Bluefin Tuna Zone and that means Tanner and Cortez Bank. It's accessible from all the landings in Southern California, from San Diego all the way up to Ventura. Day and a half is best, but even overnight trips can get out there. About a 90, 100 mile run, depending upon what part of the bank you fish and what bank you fish, Tanner, or further is Cortez. But wide open, 10 to 30 pound bluefin tuna. The Highliner kind of just licked their wounds in Pyramid Cove and fish San Clemente Island after limiting out on the bluefin tuna, tremendous fishing. And I hesitate to mention boats. I just make this overall comment that it's hard to find boats if you're on a day and a half trip that don't have limits of bluefin tuna. Mostly 10 to 40 pounds, let's call it, but there's some 100 plus pounders kicked in there every once in a while. Also, great fishing, 25 pound fluorocarbon, really working well, it has been producing so many bites and when the intensity of the bite goes up you can bump your fluorocarbon up to 40 pounds or a little bit heavier whatever the heaviest you can fish the that's what you want to use Vern Ballas is on board the searcher reporting wonderful fishing on the bluefin tuna and some big yellowtail and that's something that I need to emphasize while you're catching the bluefin there's yellowtail mixed in with it sometimes you're in a bite where it's mixed sometimes you're in a bluefin bite Sometimes you're in a straight yellow bite. And I'm not talking about two or three yellowtail per boat. I'm talking about some really big scores. Apollo, C4 Sport Fishing, great hit on the bluefin with limits and lots of yellowtail to go along with it. The Pacific Voyager had 100 plus on the yellowtail along with limits of bluefin tuna. It simply can't get any better than it is right now. It is wide open. Now, I do want to mention to you, that we see some weather, some windy weather. It's going to manifest itself on Sunday and be breezy for a couple of days. We'll see how breezy. Looks like long range size vessels will be able to fish in that, but it might get a little dicey. We'll keep our eyes on it. As we get a little bit closer, we'll let you know, but there is some weather on the way out there in that neck of the woods. If you have unfiled taxes, you better call Tim Marquez right now. Tim has been doing this for 35 years. He's a trusted Freeman Adventures family member and John Lopez is standing by with your heating and air conditioning needs at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. Give John a call right now. So really great stuff going on. No question about it. I love what's going on on that bluefin zone, and I love all those yellows mixed in with it. That is simply hard to beat. Coronado Islands area, some guys are getting them, some guys are not. Fishing kelps 
a lot of times down on the rock pile area, looking around for kelps, looking around for meter marks of fish. Still some very good yellowtail action going on at the Coronado Islands for most of the boats. But again, some guys have missed here recently. Most boats with steady action, anywhere from 50 to 75 yellowtail. Pretty common every once in a while, a little dip. 25 pound floral, uh, working great with a good hot bait and a surface iron and a yo-yo iron, also super effective. That mint tatty 45 has been red hot. Out there at San Clemente Island, there's some good bass and yellowtail fishing going on. Not many boats get in there. Well, I shouldn't say that. Guys do get in there because they limit out on the bluefin outside and they're able to get in there and out of the weather. You might find yourself there starting Sunday a little bit more trying to get out of that weather that is headed our way. But once again, we'll have to wait and see how that all plays out. At Catalina Island, not bad. The Pursuit, 11 yellowtail yesterday. That's one of the best hits we've seen in a long time at Catalina Island. We've been waiting for that place to explode. There's a lot of yellows there. There's yellows all around. I'm talking about San Clemente Island, the Coronado Islands, Channel Island. So Cat's getting ready to go, I think. And that's a nice hit for the Pursuit out of 22nd Street Land. And they also had a mix of other species, calico bass, blue perch, sheephead, whitefish, all kinds of variety and gorgeous weather at Catalina Island. The El Patron, 22 anglers yesterday, 60 calico bass, 20 bonita, five barracuda, excellent calico bass fishing. Drop that fluoro down to 15, and you will get bit all day long. The El Patron's a gorgeous vessel, limited load trips, great crew, you're going to love it. www.longbeachsportfishing.com. Dot org. Get on the El Patron on the weekdays and save money. Weekend trips are a little more expensive, but the weekdays, man, you can get out and save some bucks and have some fun on a boat I truly enjoy fishing on. Up there in the Channel Islands, we continue to pick at the white sea bass and the halibut. Some days are pretty good. There's a lot of calico bass for some of the boats and some barracuda around. And then, of course, excellent rock fishing up there. You can always fall back on catching lots of colorful and great eating rockfish and not a thing wrong with that. However, we have seen quite a bit of halibut and quite a bit of sea bass up there at times. We haven't had a big hit here recently, but I'm waiting. Somebody's going to drop one here pretty darn soon. Wouldn't surprise me if it's the Endeavor out of Ventura Sport Fishing. Speaking of Ventura Sport Fishing, get on the island spirit with Captain Daniel Hottaway. His half-day trip leaves at 8 a.m., comes back at 4 p.m. That's way more than a half-day trip. It's a great boat with a great crew that you're going to love. And Ventura Sport Fishing is one of my favorite places to fish. 805-805-676-3474 or go to VenturaSportFishing.com. Some good fishing up there. You're always going to go home, it seems like, with a sack of fish. We'll keep our eyes on it for you very, very closely. The gray light up there had a couple of white sea bass. We're waiting for more and more of that to happen on our half and three-quarter day trips. Whoa! San Diego's been just the place to be for local fishing this year. It has been spectacular. Dolphin with great calico bass fishing and a yellow tail. They had seven white sea bass on their afternoon trip, mostly small and returning a lot, but still seven keeper sea bass, the new Seaforth, with nine yellowtail fishing locally. Other boats there, good sand bass fishing. Calico bass fishing's been good. And some exotics kicked in there every once in a while. Some halibut. You can't beat it. It's been really good. Up there around Oceanside, Dana. Good calico bass fishing. A lot of shorts. And then, you know, whitefish, sheephead. That kind of stuff going on also. And then as we move you up here into the San Pedro Long Beach area, we are catching a few bass with a lot of sculping. And rockfish right now. Good twilight fishing out of Marina del Rey. Look for that to happen again this weekend. Redondo picking at some bass locally and also catching the shallow water rockfish in that neck of the woods. And once again, up there in the Channel Islands, excellent fishing on the rockfish with some calico and barracuda and stuff kicked in there also. Hey, you want a little albacore update? My prediction, I consider to be dead so far this year. Yes. There's been a few albacore, but I'm predicting a season where we catch at least several hundred albacore, and that has yet to manifest itself. A couple of guys showed up at Irvingham Brothers Bait Receiver in San Diego with some albacore here recently. Also, Merritt McRae 
Merritt's a great guy. And Merritt is up there 17 miles off of Eureka, California. And he's catching some albacore also. There's reports of some albacore in Alaska. Crazy stuff going on. But we have yet to see a big hit here in Southern California. Don't throw in the towel yet. You just never know. Surf fishing. We've got to turn you down to our surf fishing headquarters in Southern California. And that is Big Fish Bait and Tackle in the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California. Right there on the corner of PCH and Seal Beach Boulevard. There is all the bait you're going to need for a successful outing. And they're giving away a free custom beautiful surf fishing rod every single month. And it's free. All you got to do is go in there, get your ruler. You'll take a photo of your prize catch in the sand using that ruler and upload it to their Instagram page. You get all those details when you walk in there. Looking at this surf here this morning, perfect conditions for Corbina, which are in that short water. We see a lot of Corbina down there around Huntington Beach here, Bolsa Chica, also up in the Santa Monica Bay. Some pretty good stuff, some yellowfin croaker, an occasional halibut mixed in with it, and it won't be long until we're catching spot fin croaker, which incidentally you're going to catch on bait. Bait is the best way to catch that as we're getting a gust of wind now up to about 10, maybe 12 knots of breeze on my back. And it feels kind of warm, so it's an unusual breeze blowing in here right now. I do see some pelicans hitting the water. Remember to keep that in mind when you are surf fishing. If you see birds hitting the water, they're not doing that just to goof around. They're doing it because there's bait there. And something is on that bait, normally forcing it to the surface. Predators! So you want to cash in on that. If you got to hightail it up and throw a little chrome crocodile in the middle of where those birds are feeding, it's not a bad idea. It will really help you achieve your surf fishing dreams. All right, my friends, a couple of great trips coming up. You're not going to want to miss them with us. See for sport fishing a two-day trip on board the Apollo in late September. And then we finish up with our last trip of the year on board the Amigo. Last trip with availability. Uh, and that'll be the 6th through the 8th on board the Amigo. 22nd Street Landing. That's going to be a great two-day trip. Limited to 21 anglers on the Apollo. Limited to 16 anglers on the Amigo. You're going to want to become part of that text me today if you want to join us. All right. Have a great and beautiful weekend. It's a gorgeous Friday morning, and there is so much going on. Don't forget, check back with us tomorrow on the morning briefing. I'll have a weather update for you as we're going to get some wind on Tanner and Cortez manifesting itself late Saturday and into Sunday. It looks like it'll be breezy for a little while after that. We'll be watching that, the great fishing, and so much more. Have a great Friday morning, and I hope to see you really, really soon.